San Telmo Museum is located in San Sebastian, in an old Dominican convent dating from the middle of the 16th century. The fire and plundering of the city in 1813 and the later transformation of the convent into an artillery barracks caused the building to deteriorate significantly. In 1928, the decision was taken to restore the building and transform it permanently into the San Telmo Museum. It is at this time that on the recommendation of the painter Ignacio Zuloaga, the Catalan artist José María Cert Ibadía carries out the decoration of the bare walls of its church. Cert was considered at that time to be one of the most sought after and internationally famous muralists. Excited about the enormous possibilities presented by the walls of the church, Cert paints 11 canvases which take up a surface of 785 square meters. They portray important moments in the life of the history of Gipuzkoa, such as the shipyards of Pasaya, or work in the foundries. Son pinturas sobre lienzo realizadas en su taller de París y adheridas posteriormente a los muros de San Telmo. Para crear estas complejas composiciones, Ser montaba escenografías reales con personajes y con maniquíes que luego fotografiaba y dibujaba con ellos bocetos al carboncillo. El museo conserva hoy en día cinco de estos bocetos originales. Ser aplicaba sobre la tela una imprimación de cola animal. Posteriormente la cubría con una capa de preparación blanca y coloreaba toda la superficie con una base de color rosácea. La doraba y por último dibujaba y pintaba sobre ella con, a base de veladuras al óleo y diferentes capas de barnices. Para poder trabajar en esas grandes dimensiones, Sert ideó un ingenioso sistema de tambores que posibilitaba ir enrollando los lienzos y avanzar sobre el trabajo. Por último, para su montaje definitivo en los muros, realizó ajustes de composición y de tamaño para adaptarse a las medidas concretas de cada zona. Por eso podemos observar piezas de tela superpuestas a la base de los lienzos con retoques de dorados, veladuras y barnices también. Since their completion in 1931, the paintings have experienced serious conservation problems, mainly due to the intimate interaction between the building and the canvases. The wall to which they are attached transmits humidity from outside to the buildings. Therefore, the canvases found in the shaded north wall sections facing the Urgui mountain and the sea are in a much more serious state, given that they are more exposed. These problems are made worse due to Cert's spectacular pictorial stratigraphy, given that the supposition of different layers creates breathability problems. When the accumulated humidity tries to evaporate, it is confronted with various impermeable layers such as metal foil or varnish. This increases the internal pressure between the layers, creating separation pockets and eventually a breakage in the strata. Furthermore, the droplets of condensation which form inside the building also settle both on the surface of the canvases as well as on some of the interior layers, leading to the apparition of fungal colonizations and degrading the soluble strata. To add to the problem, there are structural movements of the wall, which produce an increment in the tension between the strata, causing flaking and the splitting apart of materials. Over the coming months, studies will be carried out in the causes of this degradation and on restoration work, whose ultimate goal will be to establish, with sensitivity, courtesy and respect, preventative restoration guidelines, so that CERT's excellent paintings can recuperate their physical stability and beauty. This is our responsibility, to look after and protect this legacy so that it can last into the future. <laughs>